What's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving. Book and title, Lessons from a Non-Custodial Father. Amazon, Kindle Create Space. I'm going to start putting a link in the description box of the videos that I made with the, with, with the book. Uh, the Black Male Experience. Spirituality. Church. Religion. You know what I'm saying? If you listening to the background, that's that BJ the Chicago kid. Boy, I'll be rocking that shit in my car. Um, the thing about spirituality is it's a reason why you don't see a lot of brothers in the church. And through our experiences, just my experience and some of the guys I know, God isn't in the church like God should be because the people in the church are perverted. I love these, these songs. But um, what it is is you beca you're a kid, you're raised in the church. You're supposed to be singing the songs and reading the Bible. And you're looking around and you're seeing people who are not living up to that standard. And the hypocrisy bothers you. People bring you to church to feel guilty enough to give them money, but you don't see the church itself, the church parishioners, and the members of the church actually leave the church and be a blessing to society. And in some ways, it, it confuses you and it rubs you the wrong way. You know, everything is forgiven, but nothing is atoned, and it don't seem right. And as a man, you 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 realize when you do wrong, and let you gonna have to apologize and fix it. And the church doesn't apologize and fix things. You know. So your spirituality, well, this one might be Christianity, but no, because I got friends that, that are different religions that had the same problem. You know, you become Jesus, you know, doing, working miracles and helping people like a thief in the night. You know, nobody knows you exist per se, but at the same time, you handling your business for other people. And then you don't see the church folks doing the same thing. You know, they, they, they go they go to church early saying amen, and when the time the church is over there in the parking lot having road rage, you know. <laughs> so it's a it's a problem. You know, you, you look around, you like, where's the money going? The church is getting bigger. But I can see the people in the church internally are getting worse. This money ain't helping. You see the hypocrisy of these pastors. See, at a certain point, it's only so much hypocrisy you're going to not pay attention to or overlook. Because... You can't be fucking the whole staff and part of the choir and 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 and, and, and the, uh, the other members of the church who are enamored by the position of a pastor. You know, part of the other thing about the, the, the spirituality is the power in it. Like the hypocrisy of it is people gravitate to power and quote unquote being a pastor is, is powerful is a powerful position but you're really just a glorified beggar nowadays some beggars are better than others and to be able to willingly give your money to a pastor that doesn't give anything back to you but drive and believe the church and look down on a homeless man that needs five dollars to get a meal it doesn't that doesn't sit well with, with brothers. It really doesn't.
and to never see those pastors give give to people like that. That's where you start having a problem. You know. And you, you become a dual personality because then you start thinking, what is coming to this church? If I go to this church, that don't I'm gonna go to heaven because I go to this church? Or am I gonna go to heaven because I'm out here actually touching people's lives? Does God say, okay, he was from 9-11, he said, praise, praise God, hallelujah, and he sung, would everybody come on to my room? Come on in a room. No. Just because Jesus is my God, that don't mean that um, I actually help somebody. That's the problem. And then, I'm trying to say this particularly right. Then you get to a point where all the things you read in the Bible, you come to realize God is in you. You know, I said this before, God in some ways is up is omnipotent but God in some ways is omnipotent because God is in everything God created so you are uh, connected to the most high so why do you need to keep going to a middleman to be something you know and what makes it worse is you're listening to people tell you that Jesus is going to come back when Jesus to told you you should be able to do greater works than me. And that's where we have an issue. Because the work that it takes to make the world better is on our shoulders. It's not, excuse me, it's not on praying. And you out here using religion to be guilty and all that. Another problem with it is American Christianity is a is a religion to make you subservient. You know, American Christianity is a religion that pushes uh, superiority of white people as propaganda. It got nothing to do with God. And it rubs people the wrong way. Because just when you read the Bible, you read, if you read the Bible, you know the pictures and the people are all. If you read the Bible and you read the Bible, the Torah and the Bible are pretty much the same thing because it's, you know, the, the same books. But once you read the Bible, the Quran, Torah, even uh, Greek mythology, you know, things start to they coincide because though some people really believe in the term seek my face so people actually brothers start actually seeking the knowledge of God and we start feeling like hypocrites if we only call on God or serving God when we down on our luck it's not that people are dismissive of God Brother is dismissive of the church because it's like a, a house of hypocrisy. Now we have I know some I know some good pastors, some good reverends, guys that I work with. In in, in old school mentality I tell you, you know, pastors were different because they used to have a job. The the reverends I know, they got a job. They don't mix their job with their calling. That's one of the problems because people are, 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 are really it rubs some people the wrong way when you using Jesus as your financial uh, you pimping Jesus see Jesus didn't didn't pimp God 
to get ahead. Jesus committed great works in the world and was relatively a poor man. So to watch, so to sit there and watch people uh, become rich people off of telling people what Jesus did and still not trying to do the, the type of things he did, it doesn't sit well with brothers. Plus, the way the church is, sometimes you don't want your kids growing. Up, you want your kids growing up in the church to find a sense of morality, right and wrong, but you don't want your kids to go through a certain age in the church because it makes them, it makes the boys passive and the girls sneaky, and that just you know, it creates a lot of problems. If the people in the church had better intentions, I, I, it would be more brothers in the church. Be more brothers in in the religious, uh, the house, the, the the houses of religion. But because of that issue, that's why you don't see us there. That's what I'm gonna call it: BME leaving the church. Yeah, peace.